Unpacking and Machine Setup When unpacking your coffee machine, remove the box and examine the unit for hidden damages. You may dispose of all packaging materials at this point. You can now remove the protective plastic coating from the outside of the machine. It is advisable to leave the machine mounted to the shipping skid until it is delivered to its final location. When you do decide to remove the pallet, the machine is attached with four 10 mm bolts. The unit should be placed completely level with no more than a two degree inclination. Note all materials and technical information are included in a white envelope located inside the machine. The white envelope will also contain additional labels. Also note, the grounds bucket holds a bag of parts you will need for setup. Identifying key parts. To help in understanding the CREA units, it is essential to be able to identify the key parts of the machine. Some examples of these key parts are from the front of the machine. The Z4000 coffee brewer, product canisters, mixing bowls, liquid waste tray, coffee grounds tray, coffee dozer, diffuser chamber, interlock switch, chocolate catch tray, and product nozzle with mixer tray. Inside the front door counter, washing and programming panel. From the back of the machine, note the power cord with the GFCI protector and inlet water valve. With the back panel removed, you can see the espresso boiler and valve block, volumetric counter, volumetric counter filter, water pump, main control board, boiler control board, product motors, air brake water reservoir, and fan motors. Base kit installation. The CREA may be used for an optional base. After unpacking the base and base kit, you will need to mount it to the coffee machine. Use the four short leg levelers from the CREA found in the coffee grounds bucket and screw the legs into the bottom of the base cabinet. Before mounting the CREA, remove the ground and liquid waste tray and carefully lay the CREA on its back. Remove the metal plate attached to the bottom of the CREA. The plate is held in place with two 10 mm bolts and four Phillips screws. Save the plate and bolts in case the CREA is used without the base again. The ground chute cover and harness routing cover can be removed after you remove the metal plate. The four 10 mm bolts and washers needed to attach the base can be found in the base kit. Using these bolts, attach the coffee machine to the base unit by inserting the bolts through the holes in the base top. The harness for the float switch are the pink and brown wires. The switch wires will be routed through the back left of the base into the back of the CREA. Remove the back panel of the CREA and remove the plug located in the bottom right corner of the machine. The float switch harness in the CREA is located just under the air brake. Cut the wire tie and remove the jumper on the two connectors. It is a good idea to tape the jumper inside the CREA for future use. Connect the float switch pink and brown wires to the harness. The blue ground chute can be inserted into the hole where the brown cover was removed. Turn over the liquid drip tray and using a quarter inch drill bit, drill a hole in the center of the raised circle. Reinstall the liquid drip tray into the machine. 
Place the grounds bucket provided onto the shelf of the base, then install the liquid waste bucket in the bottom of the base, making sure to place the clear tube and the float ball inside the bucket. Using the water fitting kit provided, connect the garden hose fitting to the water inlet valve on the back of the machine. The fitting has a 3 8 inch female connector which can be converted to a 1 4 inch tubing by using a 3 8 inch to 1 4 inch 90 degree fitting provided. It is highly recommended to filter the water going to the crea. Most filters need to be flushed, so before installing the machine, check the instructions on your filter for flushing process. The filter should be connected directly to the water main, then to the crea. After the water has been turned on and you check for any water leaks, it's time to power up the machine. With the door open, insert the crea power plug into the wall outlet. Check the GFCI. It may need to be reset before startup. You should see a red light to verify the machine has power. Now direct your attention to the front of the machine. Using the yellow service key provided, place the key into the inner lock switch and turn it 90 degrees. The machine should power up. The display will show empty waste and below it is yes or no. Press any button on the left to reset the waste counter and any button to the right to continue the count. The display will show control boiler. This shows it is checking the status of the boiler. A small amount of water will come from the dispensing nozzle. This is to purge the system of air and this is normal operation. After the system has purged, the display will show temperature and also give you the water temperature in Celsius. In approximately three minutes, the machine will be ready for use and the display will show select your drink.